Jimmy Butler has been Michael Jordan-esque in the 2023 postseason, ousting the number one seed Milwaukee Bucks with averages of 37.6 points, 6 rebounds, and 4.8 assists per game. But it's not only about basketball prowess that Butler has been compared to MJ. It's because he could very well be his heiress's actual son. Butler was born on September 14, 1989, to Londa Butler in Houston, Texas. However, the identity of his father was never revealed in public, and it was said that he abandoned the family when Jimmy was still an infant. Several years later, Londa kicked Jimmy out of the house and told him, I don't like the look of you. You gotta go. It was also said that his mom told Jimmy his father left them to protect his name. Now, in 2016, a blog by sports gossip instigator extraordinaire Therese Owens asked whether Jimmy Butler could be Michael Jordan's love child. Owens' short blog post contained nothing but a photo of MJ and Butler posted side by side, plus an old-looking newspaper cutout about Jordan's abandoned son in 1988 to protect his marriage with his wife. The child took on the mother's name Butler, and after 13 years, Michael Jordan's lover supposedly kicked the kid out because the child support payments stopped. The full post reads, Michael Jordan would not claim an unwanted child in 1988 in fear of destroying marriage. Child took on mother's name of Butler. It was reported he paid mother off so he would not tarnish his public image and legacy and role model figure. After 13 years, mother kicked child out of household because payments stopped. Another report stated, the two have a striking resemblance, and one tipster tells us there's a reason why. Butler may be MJ's illegitimate child. This sounds crazy, but they do look a lot alike. Michael Jordan claims the child born out of wedlock is possibly Jimmy Butler, the unwanted love child from 1988 that he covered up to save his marriage. Jimmy took on his mother's surname of Butler and is reported that she was paid off so Jordan's public image and legacy would not be tarnished. After 13 years, Jimmy's mom kicked him out of the house because the payments stopped. Jordan had a kid with a woman at or around the time Butler was conceived. It was well documented and is even reported that he tried to sneak into the hospital and that she received 23 roses while in the delivery room. Okay now, this conspiracy theory would have been squashed a long time ago if only the public knew who his dad was. Butler talked about his currently amicable relationship with his mom and dad in several interviews, but the identity of his biological father was never mentioned or revealed in public. There was an article on the internet that Jimmy's parents were Jimmy Butler II, or Jimmy Butler Sr., and Londa Butler from Houston, Texas. However, the website doesn't seem to have a legit source on this either, and Jimmy Butler himself never mentioned his dad by name or if he was really named after him. Because of this, many fans pieced two and two together. Since he was born in September 1989, which means he was conceived in December 1988, Jimmy being MJ's son is a legitimate possibility because of the circumstances. Jordan's game log in the 1988-89 season included a December 3rd game against the Dallas Mavericks. Big D is just an hour away from Houston by plane and three and a half hours away by car. It's entirely possible that Jordan could have gone to Houston and had an affair during this time. MJ was popular in 1988, but he was still not the cultural icon he was in the 90s and there were no phone cameras everywhere he went like there is today. Now, consider another juicy piece of evidence. This is entirely circumstantial, but it's intriguing nonetheless. It's a picture of Michael Jordan playing pickup basketball at a park and about to throw down a tomahawk. Did you notice the name Jay Butler and Jimmy somewhere? This picture was supposedly taken in 1989 or 1990 around the time when Jimmy was born, so it's too much of a coincidence to see his name there. If you are a dyed-in-the-wool conspiracy theorist or simply know the science of probabilities, this could be the smoking gun right there. Another thing about this whole saga was Jimmy's sneaker choice in 2015. 
Although Butler was signed with Adidas for a couple of years, Butler took a 75% pay cut to sign with the Jordan brand. The renowned Jordan brand had such a powerful pull on Jimmy that he took significantly less money to sign with them. Both parties eventually went their own ways in 2020, but Jimmy and Michael have already bonded by holding summer basketball camps together. In one of these camps, Jordan even said to him, Son, you'll never be like me. Pass the ball to your teammates, as the NBA legend beat Butler in a shooting contest. Jordan is no stranger to elect fairs with other women. In 2002, an aspiring singer named Carla Naffel sued MJ for offering her $5 million as hush money to cover up their relationship and to abort a child. An article by the Chicago Tribune wrote, Jordan's two-page lawsuit last month admitted he paid Naffel $250,000, but it was vague about the time frame of the affair, saying it happened more than a decade ago, and spelled out no details. Jordan alleged Naffel, through attorneys, had attempted to extort additional money from him. Naffel's suit contends that she and Jordan carried on a sexual relationship from 1989 to 1991 and that it was Jordan who was the pursuer. Naffel claims she had her first contact with Jordan when she was singing in a band in a hotel in Indianapolis while the Bulls were in town to play the Indiana Pacers. She says an NBA referee introduced her to Jordan over the phone. They arranged a meeting in December 1989 in a Chicago hotel, according to the suit, and met in other cities into 1991. In spring 1991, she discovered she was pregnant. She believed it was because of a sexual encounter she had with Jordan in November 1990 in Phoenix, and Jordan urged her to have an abortion, the suit alleges. He ended up paying some of her medical expenses for the birth, but it was later determined that the child was not his. As we all know by now, Jordan is not a saint and his personal history suggests he could have easily done these things as he professed in the aforementioned lawsuit filed by Naffel. Given Michael Jordan's track record of affairs and relationships with women, do you think it's possible he could be Jimmy Butler's father? You can let us know your take on the matter through the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.